Hello, my name is Erin. This tutorial shows how to embed online videos in Word for Microsoft 365. The embedded videos can come from YouTube, Vimeo, or Slideshare.net. We'll also look at how to resize and reposition embedded videos in the text, and how to play the embedded videos. We'll look at how to embed offline videos in a separate tutorial. Today I'll be using Word for Microsoft 365 for the PC. While you can embed videos in the standalone versions of the software back to Word 2016, the steps are slightly different than those shown here. Word for Mac doesn't currently offer a way to embed online videos. Before we begin, please allow me to share a few important notes. If you're using Windows 11 or an up-to-date version of Windows 10, the Microsoft Edge browser must be installed on your computer. If you're using an older version of Windows 10 or a previous version of Windows, the Internet Explorer 11 browser must be installed on your computer. Under normal circumstances, these browsers will already be installed in Windows by default, so most users will already meet these requirements. It's also important to mention that you don't actually have to use these browsers. They just have to be installed behind the scenes. I've linked to a Microsoft support article in the description box below if you'd like to learn more about these requirements. To begin embedding an online video, open the browser of your choice and navigate to the video you want to embed from YouTube, Vimeo, or Slideshare.net. Today I'm using Google Chrome to navigate to one of my tutorials on YouTube. Next, copy the URL from the address bar. The keyboard shortcut to copy text is Ctrl plus C. And then open your Word file and place your cursor in the text where you want to embed the video. Next, select the Insert tab in the ribbon. From there, select the Online Videos button. When the Insert a Video dialog box appears, paste the URL into the text box. The keyboard shortcut to paste text is Ctrl plus V. When you're finished, select the Insert button. The video should be embedded into your document. Now we'll resize and reposition the video we just embedded. To begin, select the video thumbnail if it's not already selected. But be careful not to select the Play button in the center. Next, use the resizing handles to adjust the size of the video thumbnail as necessary. You can also select the Layout Options button, and then select an Alignment option. The default is in line with text. However, the six options shown under With Text Wrapping let you reposition the video thumbnail by dragging it to almost any location in your document. The visual effectiveness of each of these options will depend on the size of the video thumbnail and the density of your text. Therefore, you may need to experiment to find the option most appropriate for your content. You can also enhance your video thumbnail with additional image formatting, such as a border. Please see my previous tutorial titled How to Insert and Modify Images in Microsoft Word, which is linked below, for more information. Once your video is embedded, you can play it by selecting the button in the center of the video thumbnail. The video will appear over the top of your document. Use the built-in controllers to play the video as you normally would on a site such as YouTube. This tutorial shows how to use track changes in Microsoft Word. When you're finished watching, click away from the video in the darkened part of the screen to return to your document. And as always, remember to save your file to save your changes.
I have created many other videos about Microsoft Word, including how to insert audio files in Microsoft Word, and how to make Microsoft Word faster by hiding images. Please see the complete list in the playlist titled How to Use Microsoft Word, which is linked in the description box below. All the steps we just performed are listed with images on ErinWriteWriting.com along with all my other writing-related software tutorials to help you succeed at work and in the classroom. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials. And give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.